Hello and welcome to Slap Bass Bootcamp. Let's get into it. Let's go over the history real quick of Slap Bass, and then we'll go through beginners, steps to get going, and then some intermediate exercises to work on. So the history of Slap Bass, it was created by Larry Graham. He called it thumping and plucking. So you'll see me call it thump instead of slap and plucking instead of pop. That is out of respect to him, just so you're aware of what terminology I will be using. Now, the most important aspect of slap bass is your thumb. You have to get your thumb right or you're never going to go anywhere in the slap game. Now, stick your arm straight out, thumb up like you're trying to hitch a ride, and then think of the motion used to turn a doorknob. You rotate from your elbow, right? It's this motion. You grab the doorknob and you turn like this. Okay, now you take that, you put your thumb parallel or in line with the string you want to play. For this first example, we are going to be on the E string. We're going to go to the fifth fret, which is an A note. Now, you just turn the doorknob. Now, in the beginning, you're probably not going to sound great, and that's okay. All right? Everyone's got to start somewhere. So, in the beginning, it's likely going to sound something like this. And what that means is that if this is the string, you are striking the string and then resting on it so it can't make any sound. You're choking the note out, right? What you want to do is if this is the string, you want to rotate into the string and then right before you hit it, you want to stop moving your hand forward and just let off the gas a little bit and let your thumb be loose. It'll hit the string and it should be able to kind of bounce away because it is loose. I will put a slow motion, super zoomed version of that here so you can see. 